A 35-year-old professional baseball player comes to your clinic, looking worried. For weeks, a growing weakness in his right arm has plagued him, especially since he's been intensifying his training for the upcoming season. Upon examination, you notice a significant atrophy in his biceps brachii muscle. He struggles to flex his elbow and supinate his forearm and reports a diminished sensation on the lateral side of his forearm. Which nerve is likely affected in this patient? Your professional baseball player's symptoms point to one culprit, the musculocutaneous nerve. If you piece together his weakened elbow flexion and forearm supination, the noticeable atrophy of his biceps brachii, and the decreased sensation over his lateral forearm, it all suggests an involvement of this nerve. Isolated lesions of the musculocutaneous nerve are rare, but the nerve can be injured with direct trauma, shoulder dislocation, or with strenuous exercise. The musculocutaneous nerve arises from the lateral cord of the brachial plexus and contains fibers from the C5, C6, and C7 nerve roots and has the crucial role of innervating the muscles in the anterior compartment of the arm, like the biceps brachii, brachialis, and coracobrachialis. It's also responsible for sensation over the lateral forearm. The radial nerve, which is primarily responsible for the innervation of the forearm and hand's extensor muscles. It provides sensation to the posterior arm, forearm, and dorsal hand, and isn't typically implicated in elbow flexion injuries. The median nerve, which innervates most of the forearm flexors and some intrinsic hand muscles, it provides sensation to the first three and a half fingers, but it wouldn't usually be the cause of diminished elbow flexion or forearm supination. The ulnar nerve, which innervates most of the intrinsic hand muscles and provides sensation to the medial one and a half fingers, it's not typically involved in injuries related to elbow flexion or forearm supination. The axillary nerve, which innervates the deltoid and teres minor muscles and provides sensation over the lateral aspect of the shoulder. It doesn't contribute to elbow flexion or forearm supination. If you like this case and enjoy medical cases like this one, check out Clinic, which is our new subscription-based web application, where each week we present you with new clinical encounters and multiple choice questions based on a variety of medical pathology, from common disorders to the rarest diseases. Each week, your digital clinic is loaded with brand new cases, which are carefully crafted by our team members, exposing you to medical pathology you otherwise might not have had a chance to see or learn about at school or in your clinical practice. Subscribing to the Clinic app is also a great way to support this channel, allowing us to keep creating great medical educational videos, interactive software, and more medical cases like this one, for free on YouTube or at an affordable price on our website. But if you don't feel strongly about supporting us this way, that's okay. We still would like to show our appreciation to everyone who has continued to show their support for this channel over the years. And as a token of our appreciation, we've created a free collection of medical cases that you can access on our website. Just sign up for a free med school account by visiting the link in the description below. After you've successfully registered, you'll be redirected to the free collection landing page where you could add the collection to your account. And from here, you could immediately start testing your medical knowledge with the various clinical encounters found in this collection. You'll also have unlimited access to this collection, so you can repeat and attempt these cases as many times as you would like, forever.